OSU Athletics family breathing a massive sigh of relief tonight. No serious injuries to national championship wrestler AJ Ferrari or All-American cross-country runner Isai Rodriguez after a serious two-car accident late last night on Highway 33 near Perkins. Our sports director Caden McFarland joining us now with more on this. Caden. Karen, according to OSU wrestling coach John Smith, who was on the scene shortly after the accident last night, Ferrari and Rodriguez lucky to be alive. According to Oklahoma Highway Patrol, Ferrari was driving his Dodge Durango. Rodriguez was the passenger. Ferrari attempting to pass three vehicles while cresting a hill, hit an oncoming truck, and before the, before the car overturned and rolled into a ditch. The other driver, a 56-year-old woman, was not injured. Ferrari and Rodriguez flown to a hospital in Oklahoma City. The news is good, though. No major injuries for Rodriguez, who should be released soon, and no broken bones for Ferrari, who is still in some pain. Here's where the tale becomes fantastical. After overturning, the car was on fire. Ferrari pulled from the car by two men, one of them OSU football offensive coordinator Casey Dunn, who just happened to be passing by. Of course, he called me uh, following him, him and someone else pulling A.J. out of the car, or helping A.J. out of the car. And, you know, you just hear it in his voice. There was some, uh, some fright to it, you know. You know, I don't know how many people would go to a car that was on fire and try to pull someone out, but uh, I'm sure glad uh, Coach Dunn was there. Karen Rodriguez says that he wants to run at OSU's next cross-country meet this weekend, but head coach Dave Smith says some rest is needed. Unknown when Ferrari may return to competition, said John Smith. It'll take some time. Back to you. That is a pretty amazing story. Thank you, Caden.